<laughs> hey there. Welcome back to Boxing Bass Company. Today we're going to learn about the top five summertime lures. Today we're going to be talking about the top five summertime lures, you know, anything in your fishing arsenal, top five summer right now, July, July 4th just passed, so right now it's been about 90 degrees the past five days, big thunderstorm, it's going to be right back to mid 80s, low 90s, so we're going to talk about the top five things you can use in your arsenal, it's going to do some damage on the water. Alright, so first things first is morning it's gonna be your probably your best bite besides the, the evening bite so you got your frog fishing and your your other top water so first I'm gonna go with you got a, a poppin pad crasher and then a pad crasher so this one has got a nice little lip in it so you're just gonna twitch twitch pop pop Keep dragging it over the pads. You can do uh, a lot of open water. Good search bait in the morning. As well as the pad crasher. Just throw these on the pads all the way up against the brush. Drag it out. It's got some nice hair. Jerk. Let it swim. Jerk. Jerk, jerk. And then if you're, if you're having trouble hooking up with frogs, you get the, these small frogs, finesse ones, that are a lot softer on the body. Very light, but not as big strikes on them. But your hookup ratio is going to be probably two times better. So I thoroughly enjoy these in the morning. As well in the morning, you get your whopper plopper. So the, right now this is a 110 in trout. And then this is a 100, I don't know, 130, 100, something like that, 110. And then your 90. So this is bone, this is probably the most productive color I've had here on the east coast. Um, sent me to the hospital once, so I'm recovered, so I've got some nerve damage in my finger. But the whopper plopper, you can fish that a few ways, you can just straight cast and retrieve, steady retrieve, you can do a, a, a speed retrieve, you can also do fish kind of like a frog, crank, stop, crank, stop, crank, whop, 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 stop. You can always mix up your trees on these. This is a great versatile bait early in the morning. If the, if the frog nice bite's not going, then I always go right to the water. So as the day's increasing, so you know, you're, you're 9, 10, you're noon. Um, one of my favorite things to do is throw on a big swim bait, trout swim bait, big fish. I've also got one that's about uh, half the size. But if you're going for big fish during the summer, this is the way you're going to do it. This is exactly how you're going to catch them. So basically you're going to get in your fish finder. I don't have a fish finder because I'm fishing on a budget. So you know, not all of us can have, have our daddy hand it to us like other people on YouTube. So you're going to go out in the middle basically and um, basically cast this. And you're going to let it, you're going to feel it hit the bottom. And you're just going to drag and swim it. Drag and swim. Drag and swim. This tail is just going to go back and forth. Another way to do it is you got your smaller swim bait. You can either use a, a swim bait hook, or you can you don't have a hook, or you can also just uh, rig it weedless with a, a eighth, half ounce bullet weight, and you can fish this on the bottom as well. Next up is spinner baits. Not a lot of people use spinner baits um, as in their top summertime lures, but it's actually one of my favorite and most productive. Actually, probably second most productive because you can cover a lot of area with these. You can let them sink. I, I really fish them the same way I fish these. If uh, if the bite's slow midday, 
I'll cast this out to a deep spot, let it sink, drag it on the bottom, sit, drag it on the bottom, and you'll feel it dig down the holes, come up right over the branches, whatever structure you're fishing. Um, you'll be surprised at how many fish you catch when you drag a spinner bait all the way at the bottom. Yeah, every couple catch you're gonna pull a bunch of weeds, but you're gonna get absolutely slammed by a mammoth pig of a bass. So these are my two little two colors. I also got some other colors. You can put basically any trailer you want that's gonna swim with it. But uh, this has been my most productive right here of uh, all my spinner baits. Next up is your your crank baits. So um, probably my least favorite, but still productive. Uh, it's actually probably my least used thing in my tackle box. Uh, here on the East Coast, it's kind of hard to fish them because there's not too many spots on the areas we fish. But right here, this is a, a 20 to 25 foot uh, diving crankbait right here. And you're just going to throw this out as far as you can, and you're going to ride it on the bottom all the way back. You feel it digging up all that debris. It's going to kick up a lot of dust, make a lot of commotion. It's going to attract some fish. You're eventually going to get slammed. Also, you got your lipless crank, so you just go out there, throw it off, structure of rocks. Favorite is going through rocks with these. Um, you'll get some good hookups, you'll get some smaller fish, but you'll destroy it on a lipless crank as well. And then my absolute favorite, never fails me, is a good old Texas rig with a soft plastic. I can pitch these basically any time of the day and I'm always going to catch fish. I'm usually good for a few fish. So let me talk about these first. We'll go with the, the beaver. Right now, most productive. Just had a, another video up here. Um, black and blue versus natural. So you got a, a green and brown. So right now this is the on color. But earlier in the spring, this was the bee's knees. No, they don't even have knees was the Trout Senko. You can only find it on Amazon. You can't find it anywhere else. This Trout Senko has been one of my favorite pickups of the summer. And my favorite pickup of the summer is this right here, the Rage Tail Striking Craw. So I got a uh, Blue Sparkle as well as a uh, Green Pumpkin. Those are my top two baits right there. Craw pumpkin. The action on these are absolutely crazy and I'll do another video and I'll show it to you in my tank on how the bass react to it but it is unreal. So if you have any comments on uh, my selection, if you want to talk trash, you know, just leave a comment below.